we both I think we both started pretty young in high school. The first thing I actually made and programmed myself was this thing called a DSX board and it was in a subject called um, Mechatronics 1 and so I soldered all of that together, wired it up and all that but it actually has an alarm so here is, is a number and that's something I have to unlock. So you use these two switches and you'll just press buttons and hope it works. So it's unlocking now. And now it's just the timer. So the first thing that I ever built was, it's a little circuit called an H bridge. And what it does is it allows a motor to move backwards and forwards. And that took a very, very long time. It was actually a printed circuit board. Um, that's got all the little components on it and everything. And that actually went into a robot that went on to do lots of fun things around the house until I eventually decommissioned it. So what, how old were you when you made it? I was 15 when I built that. 15. When I was younger, I used to have a couple of books that I used to have all these textures and I'd draw all these machines and robots and everything in. My favourite time of the year was council throwout because I'd take my bike and I would load whatever I could onto the seat, wheeling it down, up and down huge hills and take it home. And there I would dismantle it, I would take it apart. I just really loved finding out how things worked. Um, I started when I was around here too. And what it literally was just building little stuff where they gave you multimeter, all these wires. You just have to just add it in, just follow the instruction or you can create your own for the competitions. And that was pretty much how I started. Uh, first thing I made, if you want to go back to like pre-robotics, a uh, wooden helicopter. Um, so before I even had you know mechanical sections of it, um, just a simple spinning, spinning metal blade um, with dad just in the backyard. Um, and then kind of turning that into putting motors into it and stuff like that. I'm currently working on a few things, uh, mainly uh, interaction between uh, people and robots. Um, so I'm kind of working on ways that uh, people can interface and communicate with robots in a more fluent way. Um, so instead of using code and having to type it all out, it's more something that you wear that kind of interacts with them. Um, so I've got an armband that measures uh, the signals going through your muscles. And from that, it can pick up gestures and then kind of tell the robot what to do. Um, so stuff like that is, is what I'm really interested in working on at the moment. So in the robotic society, we have these Zumo bots. Once you have the Zumo bot, it's got these little four wheels um, and you can just program it onto a normal Arduino board. Um, and you can program it different things like to follow a line on the floor or just to go really fast in one direction or to turn around. So we had a competition to make it do a figure of eight. My housemates thought I was really strange, but I ended up taping a marker to the front of the Zumo bot and running around on the kitchen floor to see what the figure of eight looked like. So they came home and there's all these marker drawings on the kitchen of like all these pictures and figure eights and like not really figure eights because it wasn't working too well. But eventually I kind of got it in a general figure of eight kind of pattern. And yeah, I was just really exciting and frustrating at the same time. A lot of fun.